Take this, peeves. You haven't seen the last of me. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of the Mystical Fools. Today on the agenda is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for PC. Hopefully this will be more stable than the GameCube version was, because I wasn't exactly running that on native hardware if you know what I'm saying. Also, this still controls differently than the GameCube version. It's still its own version at this point in time. They haven't consolidated the PC and console versions yet. It seems to be more third-person shooter, much like the first two. Yeah, the game still doesn't seem... The serious Black has escaped from the wizard prison, Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Ron, I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. <sighs> Scabbers, come back! <coughs> Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. <clears throat> don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. And this time, it won't be nearly as buggy. Although, the lack of reflection effect is sorely missing. You can tell the game is less... It has less fidelity than the GameCube version. Oh, brilliant. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. They still seem to be somewhat using the old engine, which but is kind of weird. I understand that it's wrong to chase Scabbers. I just find it weird. They have a GameCube version... Well, they have a console version general PS2, Xbox, GameCube, there but they still... Goes. the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. Yet it still almost looks like it's That's using it. the PS1 version. Now let go of the mouse button and you'll cast a spell. Admittedly with some better assets. Ah, there now we is. can open. I wonder if the same will be true for... Well, I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it, and we'll be able to start climbing. Admittedly, Hermione also being involved is nice. Jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. Now that is just full on fourth wall breaking. Admittedly, these bouncing balls beans. Fred and George will trade some wicked. Uh oh. Stuff for the less shot. Anyway. Admittedly, it's not entirely just the PS1 era version, like Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone, but it does look less impressive. It, there's less. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. Maybe it's just me, but it seems as though there is less post-processing. The lighting is just worse. It looks more simple. Nice one, Hermione. Right now, where's that rat? Got it. Darn it. My computer, well, the game itself doesn't seem to want to lock my mouse. Okay, that there we go. Probably just had to lock and If we walk into this safe book, it'll store our adventures up to this point. Got it. I'm happy for that. Eat. So many more opportunities for beans. Yeah, baby. I do like that Hermione is involved this time. I think she just stayed behind in the GameCube version. Oh, right. Scabbers went behind that wall. Oh, really, Ron? 
You might think about training your rat. Wow! It's a magically locked cabinet. We need to cast at the same time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Got it. Hello. Neat. Um, what's that thing? It's a gargoyle, of course. Cast Lumos at it, Rod, and a secret area will light up. Indeed. Lumos. It is more convenient that the PC version of these games just has context sensitivity. You don't have to map the spells individually to buttons. Watch out! Ironic in a way. I uh, guess so. Very nice. Anyway. Ironic that the PC has the most buttons. It could potentially have the keys be different spells, but instead you just hold down the mouse button and whatever spell you need happens to be the one. Heck, it could even use the mouse wheel, potentially. Obviously, I think Hogwarts Legacy lets you choose what spell you want to cast at all times. Yes. And you automatically change characters. What's in those cages? Definitely not supposed to be in here. Yeah, probably not. We can't leave scabbers, can we? Come on, follow me. Well, there is more padding out compared to the console versions, admittedly. It has some advantages over the over the GameCube version, the console versions. Oh, look who it is. Potty and the weasel. I should have known this pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Draco Malfoy. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone play nice now. Oh, uh, okay. What's that monster Some of looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Pass the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. You finish the step with the step with the Oh boy. Got it. Let's spam it. I need to aim at the book itself. Well, this is messed up. Oh boy, this is bad. There we go. Ran out of pages, I think. Is it okay to scream now? Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collecting these. If we search around enough at Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's card. Press the Scabbers. escape key and click on the picture of the card at the top of the screen. You've given us a lot of trouble, you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed. It begins. What's happening? Well, on the plus side, much like the console version, they look like they're from The Sims 2, so. Harry! Oh boy. Run! Do whatever you can to block the door. I'll go for help. Got it. What's out there? A monster that's going to kill you. Now, how do we get through this? Ah, got it. That's cool. That's nice. Nice tutorial you got there. Certainly makes things obvious what you're supposed to do. In a good way. There's never any confusion. is hiding serious black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you alright? Although one of us is hiding a different criminal. What happened? What was that thing? A Dementor. 
one of the Dementors of Azkaban. We better head back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Why? I'm fine. As long as you're sure, Harry. Let's see what happens from here. Interestingly, there's no Game Boy Color version this time, Harry, of course. Ron and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm, other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractal. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? I see we're not going to the dorm this time. Me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You That's why. Fine, Just step through this door to begin. That's why you need to practice more. Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Beam Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Fun! Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. Nice. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then watch what happens. Awesome. Can't play the track. Neat. It's like a Get grapple hook. Can't play the track. That is so cool. Excellent. You can also use Can't Carpe Retractor to pull certain things. Spongify tile. See if I you can I find one on the wall. I think I remember how to use these. Spongify. Now, Almighty leap onto the tile first. Uh. Cast Spongify on the tile to make it bouncy. You got it, sir. Carpe Retractum can also be used to pull things towards you. See if you can find something to cast at. Then climb up onto it. It's not this complex, sir. With all due respect. With all due respect, sir, it's not that complicated. Take that, you weirdo. Mm, more beans. So you much can more. Jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the four arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. Okay. I think you mean W. I know this is an old game, but by now, WASD and mouse should be standard. You have no excuse. Deposo. Nice. Deposo. That is so Deposo. cool. Oh, right. Hello. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, great. We got a pixie. Retractum can also be used on certain ropes. Now give it a go. Gotcha. Neat. Thank you kindly. Oh boy. Awesome. Gosh him. Gosh him to the max. Um, Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Got it. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. Got it.
Let's try it. Come on, Impy. Um, the imp isn't even throwing anything at me. I think the imp might be bugged. The imp doesn't even seem to care about my existence at all, sir. Sir, with all due respect, the imp doesn't seem to care about me. Why is the imp just standing there menacingly? Um, sir? I think your imp might- there, there might be a problem with your imp. Marauder's map, uh, mini games, um... Challenge shields, collect a card, options... Obviously I have it to 2k. This isn't working, everything's bugged out. Including it. But what am I supposed to do now, sir, with all due respect? Okay, uh, current level status, return to game, exit game. Let's just exit game. Then we'll load it back up. I'm sure it just bugged out and it'll be fine now. Hopefully. Professor Lupin, that thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an Impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. The spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up, but be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Got it. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. This isn't working. The thing is glitched. The imp doesn't even care about my existence. How am I supposed to get through this when the game is clearly Hello. bugged out, man? The imp clearly doesn't care about my existence. The game is bugged. Uh, my guess is it doesn't realize that the cutscene is over. Is there a button that's supposed to skip cutscenes? Or something? Because Okay, input. Use one. Skip cutscene. Okay, I'll press enter then. I'll just skip the cutscene and see if that helps. Maybe? Or maybe not. Okay. Professor Lupin? Not working. That thing doesn't look very friendly. Yeah, no. That is oh, a shit. Impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spe okay, everything is clearly getting Those out of hand now. May not be effective in this situation. Try not I know. to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. Got it. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Got it. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. How come the imp won't even attack me? Yeah, this game is bugged, man. This game is bugged. I mean, I know the game released forever ago, but... In case you couldn't tell by the resolution shift and the fact that I've also got it in windowed mode, you probably didn't know about that, but I do in fact have it in windowed mode, by the way. This isn't entirely running on vanilla. Oh boy. Is there a way to go back? Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. That looks like it should lead somewhere, though. Notice how that one's different. Yeah, I may have to end this here. I have no idea how to make this progress. What happens if I open these before the cutscene? That'd be kind of funny. Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an Impron. Beware. Indeed. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may it not said be press enter to... situation. Try I guess this isn't really a cutscene. While they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Got it. Go ahead. Oh, now, so we, now we've got it. Cracker and throw it back at the imp. My bad. Perfect, Ron. There we go. Your training to the test. To the test. 
Now that's working. Splendid rock. Excellent. All right. Pumpkin pasties. These are yeah. Phew, okay, there we go. Somehow opening these did it. I'm not even gonna ask how, but I hope that noise isn't what I think it is. Oh boy. Take this. Leave me alone. I'll smack you all across this room, you asshole. A cauldron cake. I'll bet they're worth loads more beans if I such a shot. Got it. <laughs> Look at that. Have to get over a hundred. Awesome. I don't even so much care about getting all of them this time. Too sure about this. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh wait, actually I choose when to drop down. That makes things significantly easier. Imagine if you immediately fell, you'd have to very much be good at timing things. Thankfully that's not the case. See now, if you didn't... If you didn't choose when to fall down, that would be exceedingly difficult. At least a little bit. Nicely done. Nicely done, Ron. We're all very proud of you. Awesome. Wonder if the Gryffindor common house is here. Not that I'll be seeing it in this video. Probably not. Excellent. Gotcha. Now that's more like it. That is more like it. Got to aim right. Uh, Great. That's a fire crab rock. Looks like a turtle Be to careful. me. It can shoot fire out of its um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rictus Sempra to knock it over. Then cast again. And yeah. To knock the fire crab into the trap. Got it. Just like before. It's the exact same. In a sort. That's right, keep shedding the same thing over and over again in rapid succession. That'll really get you out. Anywho. There's actually something interesting about the Game Boy Advance version. And you'll have to find out. Oh, geez. Okay. Ha, ah, I made it past that. Yeah, I kind of messed up there, but I still made it. Cool. Awesome. Now let's get to that shield already. Nicely done, Ron. We're all very proud of you. You are the shining example of a Weasley. Just weaseling on through. I mean that in a good way, of course. Eh. Take that, you weirdo. Hey, jerk. Oh, boy. Very nice. Very nice. And very nice to you, too. Oh, boy. Let's, um, do this, baby. Okay. Bet you I gotta jump. I gotta take a leap of faith, don't I? Oh, boy. This ain't gonna be good, is it? Nope, not exactly. Darn it. 
how am I gonna get all the way up there? Hmm. There appears to be one over there. However, I wouldn't know how to get up to it if my life depended on it. Now let's just do this then. I'm not gonna get that one, or at least not this time. I have no idea how I would even do that. Ah, I see. Just had to move forward, I guess. Get a lot of beans here. Check it. Check it, baby. Wait, what? What the hell was that? That's just messed up there. Just flinging me right over it and into the freaking soup. What's your problem, man? Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. That's that's very nice. However, I've still got a long way to go, don't I? Oh boy. Come on, let's do this. Gotcha. Uh oh. Huh, how would I get all the way up there? I'm sure there's a way. Probably all the way over there. Oh, jeez. That was not a good idea. Oh, jeez. I thought I could swing across there. I'm just wasting my time now. I don't have a lot of time to waste to begin with, man. Wasting my time. You wasted. Very rude to waste my time, boyo. Anyway. Wait until you come to a complete stop and then do it. You know? That's more like it. Oh boy. Um, Ron? You can do it now. I was about to say. Talking about a leap of faith moment. Or I guess in this case, a walk of faith. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, just more jelly beans. Darn it. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of jelly beans and a lot of stuff in general, but, you know. Don't have time here. Yo, sack. Yo, sack. There we go. At least I got to the save. I mean, better than nothing, right? Awesome. Darn it. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Darn it. Gotta deal with all these things. All these elements at once. That's gonna be complicated. Oh, jeez. There we go. Little jerks. I'll take that. Ah, chocolate frogs, one of life's many pleasures. More jelly beans, please. Oh boy. I'm gonna try to at least get through this challenge first. But what do we have here? Why is that a thing? You probably have to unlock a path or something. 
I guarantee it. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Never ends, does it? Is this a glitch? Okay, it might not be. It keeps giving different things every time, and now it's stopped. At least I can infinitely get my stamina back up. That's cool. Although I think there might have been an intended challenge that didn't activate here. Oh well. Works fine for me. Let's see if I can get past this challenge, even if it does take a little longer than usual. I don't mind. Yes, Ron. You keep doing that thing. Or whatever. Oh boy. Ah, oh, wait, here we go. Right, those are ropes. Seems to ring church bells. Which is nice. Oh boy. Excellent. Okay, this is this is working out well. Well done, Ron. I didn't get Unfortunately, you didn't find all of the challenge shields. You'll need all ten to unlock the beam bonus room. Whatever. So come back anytime you want to give the challenge another go. I'll look for them next time. I got most of them. That was fantastic. Um, where are we? These doors will let us back into any spell challenge we've completed. We can have another go at the Carpe Retractum challenge if you like, Ron. Or we could go exploring. You lead the way, Ron. Right, I want to go to the Gryffindor Common House before I end this. I'm already over my allotted time. Right, I think Gryffindor is always at the top floor. Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the password. Harry Potter, just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow! Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on. What a nice upstairs. guy. I'll lead you to the shop. Got it. Thanks. Now then. It's locked. Maybe it'll be open later. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Yep, it kind of looks like the uh, first two games, except with very much differences here. So that's good. At least they didn't just copy paste. Don't mind me. I'm just fine here. Grand staircase, it says. Professor McGonagall, Professor Dumbledore. I am glad to see you're feeling better, Harry. Thanks, Professor. You're probably aware the Dementors of Azkaban are here at Hogwarts on Ministry of Magic business. I'll bet Sirius Black steers well clear of Hogwarts with those Dementors lurking about. Come on, lads. George is waiting at the shop. Follow me. Right. But I want to go to the common house. Well, there's floor seven. It should be on the floor at least. Hey, Harry, over here. Ah, crap. What do hey, you want? Potter. Interested in buying a collector's card? Sure. Great. Got a lot. To deal. Enjoy the card, mate. Thanks. I don't have enough time for this. No offense. Tuna major. Tuna major. Here's the common house. Why do I get the feeling that's it? Um, see you two later. Just remembered, I've got to see Professor McGonagall about something. Okay. Wonder what that's all about. She's lying. Ah, darn it. They're gonna leave Hello, me down Harry. here scriptedly. Welcome to our shop. Wow, look at all this stuff. Just walk up to any item that takes your fancy. We'll tell you what's what and how much it costs. Tell you what. I'll come Can back later. Anytime, Harry. Thanks. 
Hopefully no more cutscenes. Oh, oh great, it's Peeves. No. Peeves! Boo ho ho! Poor Potty and Weasel! They've got no passwords, so they can't use the portrait shorty cuts. Oh, look at this! I've got the passwords right here! Come on, Ron. We can get that paper. What a jerk. Right. Let's cast together and teach that pest of a poltergeist a lesson. Got it. Guess we got no choice. Rick the Stepra! Catch Do it. Rick the Stepra! Take this. Run. Rick the Stepra! Stop it! I'm warning you! Rick the Stepra! Take this, peeves. You haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> I bet. We got the passwords! Come on, let's give it a go. Darn it, why do they keep forcing me to go this way? They only work on the portraits with the floor numbers at the top, right? I think so. This should get us back to the side chamber. Star Shark. Jerk. It's almost time for Care of Magical Creatures class. And Hagrid's teaching this year. Um... Do either of you know where we're supposed to go? I think the class is down at the paddock. Off to care of magical creatures, are you? So am I. That's great, Neville. We'll go together. Come on, follow me. Don't you dare. Star Trek. I want to see the common room. The tuna major. I'm already past my allotted time. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that is it for now? Oh, okay. I guess this is all there is to the common room, huh? This is what I extended the Let's Play for. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like disappointments, and I will see you next time. Then go out there and capitalize on life. I should do all these Harry Potter games at some point. They're, all, they're actually pretty fun. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and very pleasant day. Oh, now there's a very special collector's card, Harry. We'll give it to you for free if you can collect all the other cards in a set. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.